few months ago, we did a musical, A Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder, and that is probably as populist as our work at Hartford Stage gets. It's a beautiful piece of entertainment, and, and, and I say that with pride, that it's populist and that it is an entertainment. Uh, Men in a Case is in the opposite direction. It's a work of art and it's highly experimental. A little over a year ago, I heard that Mikhail Varishnikov was interested in exploring the works of Anton Chekhov. And I would be stupid not to be interested right away. <laughs> this is the first production that Big Dance Theater has done that's completely Chekhov. I think Chekhov has been a major influence on both Annie B. and Paul for many years. But they hadn't done a full Big Dance Theater Chekhov production, so when Misha Barishnikov brought this story to them, I think they thought this is the perfect moment and the perfect person to do it with. Most of Big Dance Theater's pieces draw from a number of sources. So they started with Man in a Case, a short story by Chekhov, which is a couple of hunters telling stories in the middle of the night. And one of the stories is of this man in a case, a man who's locked himself into a world of his own rules. About Love is the third story in a trilogy of which Man in a Case is the first. And where Man in a Case is looking at Belikov, the protagonist, from outside, About Love is within. It's a man re-examining how he's lived his life and how he's limited himself by his sense of morality. So how he's not allowed himself to live his life to the fullest, to really have the great love of his life because of his own rules. So it's, in a way, it's also about a man in a case, but a very sensitive, intelligent man interrogating. It's important to know about Big Dance Theater that they're a less traditional theater than we often see in the regional theater in America. So with every show they do, they're questioning the conventions of the theater. They, most often we rely on words to tell stories on stage. More than anything, we rely on text. But we have bodies, <laughs> so we can ta tell stories also through our physicality. It's, uh, you know, I do a boo, it's movement theater. <laughs> if we're going to occasionally take our audiences um, on a slightly different path. I couldn't think of a more perfect project.